According to Naughty Dog, Uncharted 4 has been the conclusion to Nathan Drake's story. However, with The Lost Legacy, they have already shown us that A Thief's End wasn't really the end for the franchise as a whole. So, will we see another brand new Uncharted game anytime soon? Will it be developed by Naughty Dog? Or will a different studio take over? And was Uncharted 4 really the end for Nathan? Or will he make a comeback? Sit back, relax and enjoy Game Ground's look at the future of Uncharted. The first question that needs answering is will it happen? Will we see Uncharted 5 in the near future? Fortunately, this one isn't all that difficult. The Uncharted titles have all been commercially very successful, if you ignore Fight for Fortune, the forgotten PlayStation Vita card game that is. Anyway, I would say that the series is still at the peak of its popularity nowadays, since Uncharted 4 has been the best-selling entry in the franchise and the sales of The Lost Legacy haven't been too shabby either. It is obvious that in a few years' time, millions of fans will be asking for a new adventure, and Sony, the owner of the IP, will most likely try to meet this demand. Don't get me wrong, I understand that Sony isn't EA or Activision. They know that milking a franchise just doesn't work, that releasing an entry in a series each and every year just makes fans tired in the end. So I definitely don't think we'll see an Uncharted 5 super soon or that you should expect a new one every year. All I'm saying is that Sony is not done with the franchise. After all, that doesn't take a genius. A full-length Uncharted movie is in works, so Sony clearly does have some plans with the IP. What's more, in an interview with Eurogamer, the creative director of The Lost Legacy literally said, quote, to say the Uncharted world is done, I doubt that highly." Unquote. So all in all, I think it's clear that Uncharted 5 will happen, it's just a matter of time. What's less apparent though, is who will make it. In the mentioned interview, the director hinted at the possibility of Naughty Dog itself returning to Uncharted one day. However, the studio's sole focus is currently The Last of Us Part 2, and it is very likely that after that, they'll start working on something entirely new. So even if Naughty Dog did indeed come back to Uncharted one day, then they would be very, very far away. Long before that happens, I'm convinced Sony will ask a different developer to take care of the series. This wouldn't be anything unusual, as it has happened many times before. Halo is a typical example of this. It transitioned from Bungie to 343 Industries and the Switch has been pretty successful if you ask me. In fact, it wouldn't even be the first time Uncharted was handed over to another studio. In 2012, the PlayStation Vita came out and Uncharted Golden Abyss was one of its launch titles. It was developed by Sony Band, the guys who are now working on Days Gone and in my opinion they did a remarkable job. As a big Uncharted fan, I found the game to be very enjoyable. And it wasn't just me, Golden Abyss is generally considered to be one of the best games on the platform, even if it's naturally not really on par with the Naughty Dog titles. To me it's a proof that Naughty Dog is not really the only studio capable of making a solid Uncharted game. Now, as for the developer of Uncharted 5, judging by discussions I've read, people tend to think it will be one of Sony's flagship studios like Sony Santa Monica, Guerrilla Games or Sucker Punch. However, I disagree. While these all are more than capable of making a good Uncharted game, they also have big IPs of their own that need to be taken care of, like God of War, Horizon, etc. And frankly, I don't think these guys would be all that interested in making the game anyway. Personally, I have three different candidates. I have already mentioned the first one, and that is Sony Band. They have already made an Uncharted game, and with Days Gone, they'll gain experience in developing a big budget AAA blockbuster. These two factors, in my opinion, make Sony Band the most likely contender to take over the Uncharted franchise. The second studio on my list is Ready at Dawn. They are best known for The Order 1886, and while the gameplay and the story of this game were just okay at best, it is still considered to be one of the most graphically impressive PS4 titles and it was also praised for its very unique and interesting setting. However, just like Sony Band, Ready at Dawn actually also has a history of taking over Sony's big name IPs. In 2006, they released Daxter, a spin-off to Naughty Dog's Jack and Daxter, 
and then they went on to make two awesome God of War games. And even though all three of these were smaller handheld titles for the PSP, they were all received very well, with God of War Chains of Olympus having an incredible Metacritic score of 91 out of 100. This, in my view, shows that Ready at Dawn certainly has the potential to create a great Uncharted game as well. Last but not least, I think Sony might ask Insomniac to make the game. They've developed several high-quality PlayStation exclusives, including Ratchet and & Clank and the Resistance series, and today they're working on Marvel's Spider-Man. From this catalog of great games, it's apparent that they're very talented, and I think they could bring a fresh, perhaps a more open-world feel to Nathan Drake's universe. So Sony Band, Ready at Dawn, and Insomniac are in my opinion the most likely studios to develop Uncharted 5. But when will we see it? Well, even if it already was in development, which I don't think it is, we wouldn't hear about it for a few years to come. And don't get your hopes up that you'll be able to play it on your PS4. By the time it gets released, it's more likely than not that Sony's next-gen console will already be a thing. <laughs> Just jump! You have to fight! Pull the cord! How hard could that be? Regardless of what platform it will come out on, who will we be playing as? Who will be the main character of Uncharted 5? Well, all we can really do here is speculate. Uh, not that the rest of this video isn't just pure speculation too, but you know what I mean. The more likely scenarios for the story include that it will revolve around Sam and Sally, or, Uncharted 4 spoilers, that it will pick up where A Thief's End left off and will play as Cassie Drake, or perhaps it will be a total reboot and will play as young and witty Nathan yet again. Alright, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. You must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. In conclusion, I'm sure Uncharted 5 is coming, even if it's a few years away. I think it will be made by a studio like Ready at Dawn, Insomniac or Sony Band. But what do you think? Do you want the Uncharted series to continue? If so, who would you like to see as the main playable character and which studio do you think should develop the game? Let me know in the comment section and please like the video if you enjoyed it.